of God, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of our God, the Spirit, all with the Bible verses in blue, the Spirit of glory, the Spirit of the Lord God. And we have the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of His Son, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of living God, the Spirit of truth, Spirit of holiness, the Spirit of grace, the Spirit of adoption, the Spirit of faith, the helper. There are so many, many names, but there are only some names that listed here. So we know that this Holy Spirit have different names because that is exactly his character. And that's why he comes to us. It's a promise of God. That God promises to us that the Spirit will come. See, when Jesus, as I said last night, let us go back to last night. As I said last night, when the Spirit of God, hallelujah, comes on us, that means he can move around without limitation. And he can use our body. See, because we avail our body. We surrender our life to Jesus Christ. There is a solution on the rule of Jesus Christ. There is a purpose to the stake. Then we receive the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit comes into us. Because he enters into our life. Hallelujah. Because when we have the Spirit of God, we have the power of God. When we have the, the body, that means he has a legal right to operate because there is a body. Until we have a body, then we have the legality or we have the right, the legal right to operate here on earth. See? That's why the demon does not have the right to operate unless somebody surrender their life to the devil. So the evil spirit can enter that person because that person already yield to the evil spirit. So the evil spirit can operate in this physical world because somebody the only authority to operate and to move in this physical world is when you have your body. You are no longer qualified to sleep in your house. You are no longer qualified to, to sleep with your wife. You are no longer qualified to sit around with your children. 